Hello and welcome to this Data Protector Executive demo. My name is Uli Walscheid from Product Management and I'm going to show you the latest Data Protector capabilities. Data Protector is a core to edge data protection solution that standardizes and consolidates backup processes, allowing enterprise to reduce cost and complexity of their backup operations while delivering important reliability and business resiliency. By standardizing the protection of data spread across locations, applications, formats, storage platforms, operating systems, and hypervisors, Data Protector Backup Software provides business assurance needed by today's data-driven enterprises. In this demo, we will touch on some standardized protection mechanisms, application-consistent recovery, uh, advanced virtual server protection, cloud as a secondary storage tier or automated disaster recovery. So let's walk over to the Data Protector Management Console. In the console you can actually see certain dashboard items, telemetry, scheduling reports and of course how to configure uh, backup and recovery devices and, and many other items. So the dashboard is of course the most important item for administrators and, and operators to take away the most current information like the clients that are backed up, the capacity involved, the licensing uh, devices and so on. In the favorites area over here you see reports that are uh, shown here as a, as a favorite for a certain user. So logins will directly take you to the most important information uh, every morning. Telemetry is actually uploading information to a um, microfocus support database. So in case a support call is opened, information is already sitting there. Uh, the scheduler lets you do the usual kind of scheduling items like in a monthly and a daily overview and it lets you do high sophisticated schedules based on certain needs. The reports uh, are of course very important to see the current state of your backups. Uh, there are a lot of predefined reports will t which take you to most important information like uh, backup times, performances, capacity, utilization, projection into the future. And maybe one of the most important uh, reports over here are reports on recovery point and recovery time objectives. So the compliant reports will take you through uh, our recovery point and recovery time objectives especially recovery point where um, it is measured against SLAs that can be preset and this report will tell you which of your uh, application backups or file system backups meet those requirements. The settings will of course let you do certain adaptions to your personal needs uh, like also where uh, information is sent to as a standard uh, email address and of course you may want to export and import configuration data for a uh, kind of certification and compliance reasons. On the other side let's move over to some uh, of the backup activity where uh, you see some examples of uh, business critical applications that we're backing up with Data Protector. This can be whatever uh, backup APIs that we're talking to like whatever DB2, Microsoft SQL, Oracle, uh, SAP HANA, but also file systems that sit on standard uh, systems, like whatever file servers, and of course, filers like NetApp or other vendors. Now, from a backup point of view, the design is done in a way that information is displayed all the same way. So an Oracle backup would actually look the same as a SQL backup or a SAP HANA backup. So none of them are very much different. And while creating backup specifications or policies, an administrator can make use of an easy uh, workflow that is used with, with all the different application integrations. So if you can do an Oracle backup, you can do a SQL backup as well. And if you've done a file system backup on a Windows server, you can absolutely do the same on a Linux server. In terms of destinations, this is where it becomes interesting in terms of where you can back up to. Uh, Data Protector supports all the usual tape libraries, virtual tape libraries, and of course cloud, like you see here. Data Protector actually makes an Amazon S3 cloud ob or object store look like a tape drive. So when you create a backup specification, the cloud just becomes uh, a standard backup device. And it can be addressed by any of your systems. 
So it doesn't even make a big difference if it is a Linux or Windows machine or how many machines it is. So for, for scalability and performance reasons, you can always spread out and adapt to your needs. On the restore side, this is pretty much the same. Restore looks all the same for the different applications. So if we take one example over here, Data Protector will let you select uh, individual items that you want to restore, like, like whatever databases, like containers, different information of a database. And in those options, you have important information going on, like uh, you can always restore to a selected point in time. So this is very important for general business uh, processes because they interdepend on each other applications have to be brought up to a certain point in time to make sure that they synchronize perfectly and the business processes do not stumble uh, when, when they are reintroduced. We have some special kind of features built into virtual machine protection. So if we want to take you through a virtual machine kind of recovery uh, scenario, uh, let's just say that there is one virtual machine in your configuration that is giving you a headache, whatever. Uh, it's not booting up. It is maybe infected by a virus or ransomware. And now an administrator needs to find out what would be the perfect restore for this for this particular virtual machine. So what we've built into, into Data Protector is the capability to either just restore as it is or to power on just for a quick checkup. Or um, if you're sure that you grab the right backup and you don't want to wait for the full restore to finish, you can have a live migration uh, situation going on, which is actually powering on the virtual machine and doing the restore in the back end. So if we do a powering on um, kind of motion, what it will do, it will take information from a backup medium and present uh, the information from backup medium directly into the virtual machine management console. The presentation of this virtual machine will move on very quickly because there's actually no data moved. So it's completely zero. It's just a presentation and you're looking at the backup store now. So a virtual machine administrator can now open up the virtual machine management console just to find uh, this powered on virtual machine with a, with a certain data protector name next to it so that you can distinguish in between the original and the copy. And an administrator can now just open up a, a local console to this machine, uh, check if it is fully operational. You may want to apply whatever patches or certain um, other items. And once you're done with checking off this virtual machine, you can just take this, this backed up information and restore that to your productive environment. But you have always a chance to check whether things are good or bad before you actually restore. We hope you like this demonstration and if you need further material, you can find it on the web page that we're showing over here. Uh, this is where you can download free trials and collaterals, white papers and so on and find more information about what others are saying about Data Protector and find all the product documentation. So thank you very much for listening and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.